tonight is part of our Holiday Hoopla celebration. Yeah, you're here at a great time to see it in its full glory. <laughs> we have an event called Baby It's Cold Outside, where we have free ice carvers. We have carolers and we have luminaries, trolley rides. Our downtown district thrives year round. We try to make sure that we activate the sidewalks and activate the community uh, all year. It's important for our cultural and entertainment designation to make sure that we're maintaining a thriving district. And so we really try hard to balance our calendar with things going on all the time. Art and culture is ingrained in Cedar Falls identity. It really is. When this program was first introduced way back when, we said, huh, this is us. We have got to apply for this designation. I think it's really um, an honor to be selected to be a cultural entertainment district. I think that it shows that you have taken the extra steps to really share who you are and what you are. Um, but also, it's a way to identify your community. And it's something that you can share and promote, um, both to your your citizens and to people that are interested in coming to your community. It's also a great economic driver. Um, arts and culture and entertainment are a big part of where people like to spend their money and it's important to help our community continue to thrive and this is one way that we can do that. When this designation first came about we thought my goodness this is who we are. This really fit well with what we've got to offer. Well, This was just something that validated what we um, were already doing and when the opportunity came up to have a redesignation, we just thought, well, wh why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't we continue to enhance our reputation as being a place where people want to come? Yeah.